How's it going everyone? This is Alec and welcome to Starfield. So today we're gonna finally start a Starfield playthrough. So you guys probably saw, I have about a couple of hours of playthrough. I basically played the tutorial and I arrived the New Atlantis and that's it. So really I haven't really played much. And the best thing is that I managed to avoid all the kind of like spoilers. So. I know like only the basics about the game. I know we're gonna explore planets. There's something like a Unity, a Starborn. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Sounds yeah, simple totally. enough. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Star Dock. Except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, hey, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Yeah, I think these two have a thing going on. <laughs> God, how anyway. are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady and never take that helmet off down here. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up. Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. She's the boss lady. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. All right. Is there anyone else to bother? But if I press left and the right click at the same time, I think it's like a double charge. It goes faster. Yep. You're ready, boss. Get back up here. I love this part. This machinery is really Three, awesome. Two, one. Oh look, they actually animate. <laughs> ah, Stan is reading a clean break. Shut it down. That's cool. Let's go. So yeah, I this is where we're gonna find our first uh, alien artifact. It's read it's read okay, as an anomaly. So out. it's kinda like a messes up the gravity field around itself. <clears throat> so all the rocks and everything around it uh, kinda like levitate. Let me close. just go grab it right, right now. Yeah, everything is just Like I said, I played this tutorial about a month ago, so I remember this part. Even the communications are messed up. Can I mind like what's this? It's a calamite, or however you pronounce that. Wow. It looks really cool though. So there it is. These are what I call Dwemer puzzle boxes. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, take the strange objects. And off we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm pretty sure these uh, regions mean something, right? They're not just random. Dusty. All right, so now this is a character creation. Come on, come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Who are you? Any of this look familiar? All right. All right. I think that should be fine. Good enough. Uh, let's do the background. So last time I went with a bounty hunter, so I'm going to continue that. I think starting as a bounty hunter is kind of useful because we have piloting skill, targeting control systems, and boost back training. All right, traits. Because I plan to uh, play with uh, companions. I don't know who I'll see. So as long as I do, uh, I perform actions that they like, I'm going to boost my own like uh, skills or stats. That sounds interesting. And you know what? I want to try... Where is it? That hero worshipped. Yeah. So let's play with the adoring fan. I think it's going to be fun for the playthrough, right? For this let's play. So adoring fan obviously is from Oblivion. It's like a Easter egg. All right, let's finish. So we have empath, hero worshipped, and kid stuff. We are a bounty hunter. Bounty hunter turned space miner. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. So, you remember anything that happened? Yeah, there was this light and music. Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else, probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak this is Barrett. Alright, so... I'm not gonna spend too much time looking around here. Let's get this mad pack. Alright. I think I'm pretty good. Uh, I feel comfortable with the controls. Wait, you don't look good. Explorers group? I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. What's this? Hell. Max Valor. This is like on, on a... I bet half the oh, oh, sure. Just take my really stuff. Exist. All yours. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to take. I didn't press take. Uh, okay. So this is... You can actually go back to the mine if you want. I don't want to go back. This is where they scan me. This is a supervisor's log, number two. Supervisor's log, supplemental. Still day two of Argos Extractor's Vectera dig. Freestar Collective claim ID... Based yeah, we are in a Freestar Collective space. As far as anyone knows, this is just another ore run. Vectera's got enough mid-level veins to keep everyone working and not asking questions. I've told Hella everything he needs to know, which is pretty much everything I know. That this is another one of Barrett's special orders. He made good with the payment for Kazal, even if it was a bust. This time, I'm not so sure. This place is giving me the willies. I think we're going to find... something. I just have no idea what it could be, or why Barrett might want it. But those sweet constellation credits mean we dig our holes and keep our mouths shut. And I'm okay with that. Hopefully, between Barrett's mysterious thing and the ore itself, we'll be done with this rock in five days, when the transport is supposed to come back for extraction. I want to read all the like uh, notes and everything. I'm really interested in the lore. So, for example, right now we found out that uh, this is this isn't the first time the constellation works with the Lin. Uh, so Barrett already had some job with the Lin previously. However. It sounds like it wasn't for the artifact, it was for something else. So I think the like, constellation as a faction, they kind of like hunt different artifacts. Oh, here it is. I was looking for a number one log. Here it is. Supervisor's log. It's day two of Argos Extractor's Vectera dig. Freestar Collective claim ID Beta 7548-Alpha. Site setup was fairly painless. New record for us. 18 hours, including the elevator. 
The prefabs are starting to show their age, though. Time to rebudget for new equipment. Again. The crew is good. Spirits are high enough. Hella is a pain in my ass, as always. And completely indispensable. What's the saying? The problem is, I love him, and he knows it. Ugh. Calvert remains the weak link. He just can't train away stupid. <laughs> But she's got a daughter on Mars or someplace and needs the cred, so she gets one more chance. If she does wash out in the end, we've still got the Dusty. And there's definitely some promise there. I am the Dusty. So yeah, it looks like Lynn has something uh, for for Heller. <laughs> this has been a good run. You lucked out. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go outside. Let's go. Feels good. Feels good. Where's the ship? Ah, oh, there it is. What's this? Is this like a mecha or how you call this? Uh, oh, he's fixing it. So it doesn't look like it's used for combat. So what is what? this used for? Oh, I'm working. So oh look, it says step here. So you step here and you sit there, I guess, and then you like control it. Yeah, this is probably used for like a in industry, like I don't think this is like a combat mecha. Oh. Not interested. It'll be, it it'll be really cool to actually have this in game, but I don't think we have these playable in game yet. But I heard we're gonna have like a vehicle soon, so Oh yeah, there's a gun over here, yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna meet Barrett. It's a he's a one of the constellation members, but I have to say graphics look really awesome in my opinion. Wow. Barrett. Man. All right. Been a long time. <laughs> Yes, it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. So yeah, they already did some We're business a before. Contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That's me. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal, and no Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? Uh, you could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship That's a crimson flit. from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Barrett? Crimson fleet. All right. That's Everybody how it's done. Drill. Just like the emergency drill. I think I skipped that class. I think I'm gonna stand in the back somewhere. I think it's ine inevitable some of our guys have to die. Um, uh, take a cover, cover, Alec. 
god, I'm so bad at these. Oh, whoa. Whoa, he went flying there. There you go. Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry, I'm trying here. Uh, this gun is useless. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh, there's one right here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright. We defeated all the pirates. Alright, let me loot. Uh, we got some helmet. We have Maelstorm. I think it's a gun. Yep. We're gonna loot everything and then what we don't need we can sell. Get some credits. That's sad. This attack better not be coming out of our pay. Hey, you get any good hits in? It's not every day we get to cut anything other than rocks. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, we got some stuff here. Uh, we have one casualty here. You in one piece? I'm just gonna pass out as soon as my heart stops racing. So I think we can actually move. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's too bad. All right. <clears throat> of course. Now that was some fine work on the pressure. Fine. Yep. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Well, if they can tell me what this artifact of yours is, I'm in. Marvelous. Oh no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lin. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. We are on to bigger things. Just go. Before I say something, I regret. Well, none of that's settled. <laughs> Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again? Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. This is the watch. So the watch will enable us to hey, actually scan look things. At that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? All right, now we can just talk to him. I think we already did this last time, so I'm just gonna go Come through. Come on, you really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take, and you're part of it now. All right, let's go. And Vasco. Don't let him break my ship. We did it pretty good. We only have one casualty. All right. Captain. 
Captain. I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Oh, this is actually a... Uh, artifact. So Constellation already knows about the artifacts. I mean, they already have like two. So we have three weapons. You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Oh, all right. Because that's a crimson fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. So, yep. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is There's particularly locking. effective. So you have to lock on the ship. Pretty bad, I'm pretty bad. Yep. So I should be able to loot, right? There it is. Oh, wrong button. Especially ship parts, they're used for like a repairing ship. So let's fly into the sun. Luckily for me, they're really weak. Come on, man. They're done. They're done, yep. Where's the other one? I'm... Yeah, we I know. Will need to deal with the local crimson fleet captain. Yes, that's recent. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Abandoned the facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. Sure, sure, Vasco, sure. Let's see. So we are in an Arian system, and we are going to Crete. So we. We remain on the same planet, on the same planet, Ancelon. We just go here. So I think what you need to do is... Oh yeah, set L. And then go here. And we press R to set course. And that's it. It's kind of like too many, too many clicks, but it's okay. Alright, so now we're gonna have like a little dungeon. I call it dungeon. We have arrived in orbit. Yes, Vasco. Yes, yes, yes. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Oh, there's someone just taking off. Really? Wait, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get up first and I'm gonna use the the ship's cargo. Where is it? Oh here it is. So I'm gonna transfer some of my stuff here. I mean I have four milestones. I only need one. Yeah, we're gonna make ourselves light. So we can loot more. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty much all. Let's go. So this is the moon of Crete. The scanning is useful because 
We also get XP. We got experience. Again, uh, we've been here previously, so I do remember this part. So, I mean, these pirates are just keep. Oh, oh, that's a mud crab. So you know it's a Bethesda game when your first enemy is a mud crab. I mean, giant space overgrown mud crab, but still a mud crab, right? Just chilling there. Creed Stalker. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. Yeah, thanks, Vasco. Thanks for warning me, huh? Oh. Whoa. Look at that thing, look at that. Give me your fiber. There you go. I mean, look at that thing. Look at the size. You can basically chop our head with single, single strike. Realistically speaking, right? <laughs> look at that. I mean, this is crazy. Oh, we don't have a boost, I forgot. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So our mining pack doesn't have boost. Should I iron? This is lead. I think uh, mining, it's used for crafting, right? And also building outposts, but I'm not gonna do that anytime soon. I have no idea how to do that. But I think scanning is useful because, like I said, we get more experience points, so we can level up. Yeah. This is the research lab. Like, most of these labs seem to be abandoned. And sorry, guys, I don't know if you hear thunders outside. Looks like we're gonna have a really bad thunderstorm. Curious, these are United Colonies markings, but we are in Free Star Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Yeah, these are all like leftovers. It's, it's funny because you wouldn't expect so many labs to be abandoned. Oh. I gotta be careful with the uh, ammunition. It's very limited. Whoa. Yeah, I remember those heat leeches. They're annoying. For books, we can collect books. I think they're useful. Sometimes they will probably like uh, have actually quests triggered. The thing is like I can spend a lot of time here just looking around. I'm mostly collecting food and this kind of things. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Oh, they saw me. Oh, oh he was about to chop me with the axe. Two of them. Oh, my health is low, really? I am aiming for your center of mass. Good on you, Vasco, good on you. Where are you? Oh, he was hiding there. Grandel, that's a new type of a gun. We got a whole bunch of things here to sell. All right. This is a bitten sandwich. Yikes. I don't want someone's bitten sandwich. Antibiotics. That's good. 
there's always like a book in the toilet and there's some milk okay I think we got everything here let's go this dungeon is not so uh, long actually I call it dungeon <laughs> it's not it, it's also kind of like serves as a, as a tutorial basically so let's just go through That's the scientist record. Oh man, that was the best. Classic United Colonies. Put something in a cave until it kills you. <laughs> One more time. So those are the pirates listening to some uh, tape. Uh, comments. So I think they were researching Terramorphs in this lab. Let me see. Wow. Yeah, Ashta. Yeah, they're like a... They were capturing aliens and they're trying to use them for a warfare, like Xeno warfare or whatever they're called. And uh, something went wrong. I think the Terramorph was one of these aliens and it kind of went loose and killed all the scientists. So that's what I think happened here. Oh yeah, so that's why it's abandoned, okay. Whoa. Oh, we have a lock. I do remember this, let me see. Oh, we got some rare pistol. Nice. Okay, we got a bunch of weapons here. Okay, let's get something like a... Uh, ooh, spiced worms. Gummy buds. We got our health a little bit fixed. Because now, yeah. Heck? Oh, he was sidestepping. He was sidestepping. You guys saw that? He was sidestepping. Oh, there's more of them here. Oh yes, you heard. Husband suit, nice. Okay, I think I have a full <laughs> pirate spacesuit. Oh, this is where it happened. So we have all these dead scientists and look at this. Something broke loose from here. These are the heat leeches, though. What's this? It looks like a giant tumor or something. <laughs> um, so something broke from here. Oh, look at these scratches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But heat leeches definitely cannot leave these kind of marks. It's something much bigger, the Terramorph. Look at this, it went here. Oh, look at all these scratches. Yeah. That thing broke through a glass. I mean, it's called Theramorph. I think you need something more than a glass. <clears throat> Vasco. Son of a. Son of a. Oh. Warning. Enemy oh, he's here. <laughs> Level two. Thank you, finally. Let's level up. So we have one skill point, and uh, there's so many things I can use it for. I'm gonna start with the ballistics. That's a really simple one. So I really kind of like this. It's kind of like a mini games. You unlock challenges, 
So now we have rank 1 ballistic weapon. We do 10% more damage with any kind of weapon, I believe. So we need to kill 20 enemies to progress. Let's switch to Maelstorm. Yeah, that's much better. But yeah, I was trying to like figure out what happened here. The Terramorph is loose, the tape said, so... But... <clears throat> so if it got free and killed everyone... Where is it now? Look at these people, they're like frozen. Anyways... Oh! Midnight Delight. Drink pack. Vodka. He was getting vodka. There's lots of alcohol in space. I'm gonna loot all these scientists. I mean, they're not gonna need anything anyways. So you see, this this is where they were doing... So they were also investigating le heat leeches. Experimental analysis of selected clone cell. It looks like a, it looks like a Morrowind, uh, those corpus walkers, whatever they're called, from the sixth house. Th those like have blight, and they will like grow these tumors all over. Kind of looks like that. Yeah, tumor growth. Oh, what? This is some kind of creature. So experimental analysis of selected clone. They're doing cloning. I don't know what they're doing, but uh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> Genetic sample. Yeah, they're taking uh, genes from heat leeches to grow something. We got someone trying to jump our score. Hold them off here while Brogan sets up on the roof. I'm on it. No one's getting through. Brogan. No, I was about to say that thunderstorm is right above us right now. It's very loud. Yeah, I prefer a rifle to be honest. Yep, yep, yep. One more. Easy money. Really? Oh. I'm in over my <laughs> All right. Okay, now we're almost done with this uh, place. Let me just check everything here. More science gone wrong, kind of a thing. So Brogan is the name of the captain. He's like a Crimson Fleet uh, mini boss here, and uh, it's cool because we actually have a option to uh, talk to him, and we can leave without even fighting. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. So I wonder where is the Terramorph. But anyways, so I'm gonna try to talk to Brogan and. Let's see how it goes. Dr. Wynn, this is the main scientist in this place. It's loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. That's some good voice acting. I mean, he does sound... <laughs> he does sound like scared. Vasco, come on, man. Oh, this is him. All right, Terramorph specimen. 
Hayden Wins, Senior Xenobiologist. August 15, 2310. Thanks to the UC Marines, we now have the second piece of the puzzle. A fully grown alpha predator. According to my research, a group of astrogeologists made first contact nearly a hundred years ago on some remote moon. The creature didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. There's currently no record of how it got there, so it was sheer cosmic chance that the astrogeologists found it. Or rather, it found them. Scientists were quick to categorize it as Ocisio Machina, roughly killing machine. The UC Marines tasked with taking down chose a simpler name, Terramorph. I read the official record once. Of the eight-person squad, only two of the grunts survived, and one of those two lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be in Xeno warfare. Today we fit the Terramorph with the NCI, that's a neuro control interface, whatever. If our experience when the grunts first dropped off the creature is any indication, our sedation window will be around 15 minutes. We better make him count. So yeah, things got wrong and everyone got killed. But uh, my lore is not that good yet, but uh, I believe there was like a civil, not civil war, but there was like a war between the United Colonies and uh, Free Star Collective. Like, not so long ago, like in, the, in like, like a relatable past, there was this great war, and uh, that's why they were doing this, like Xeno Warfare. They are trying to employ aliens. This kind of sounds crazy. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you oh. have some digital... You know what? I really hate these heat leeches. They're made of jump scares. Alright. So this is the heat leech, like a nest or something. They're dead. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the Terramorph roaring somewhere. And Where is it? Screaming. Where is the Terramorph? <laughs> that was a good voice acting. Whoever voiced uh, Dr. Wynn, simple but very effective. <laughs> Alright. Let's do some looting. The thing with the Starfield uh, lock picking is that if the lock is too high, like a high level, you can't even try, you can't even attempt to open it. So for example, the Morrowind or especially Skyrim, you can try to open any kind of lock, even like a master level. You're probably gonna fail, it's gonna be much more difficult, but it's still possible. In Starfield, you can't even try. Unless you invest in those perks, right? In like a lock picking skills. Incendiary Deep Mining Space Helm. 2250 credits, Astra Deep Mining Pack, Iron Fiber. Let's see. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, we do have a boost pack. Yeah, let's get this one. It's a pirate assault space. It looks cool. I'm not a pirate, but I can still wear it. Oh, look at that, man. Holy cow, look at that. Wow. Are you serious? I didn't know about these. I don't even want to sell this. I want to keep it as a trophy, you know? How do you even see through this? <laughs> It's awesome. This is awesome. You can see your face. There they are. Brogan and company. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be the kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands? I can lie and say, yeah, I just killed Barrett and I'm a pirate as well. 
fellow pirates. Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Okay, I can try to pursue it. You're not talking us out of this score. Yeah, I don't care. If you don't want to listen, you're gonna die. You willing Ooh. to give up the ship? Just like that? Don't give me that. I know that ship is stocked with loot. Oh, that... That can't be right. Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old constellation ship for nothing. Yeah, get I'm telling you. Here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again, you're dead. But we should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. No, Vasco, you got it all wrong. I mean, I just managed to persuade the Brogan to not attack us right away, but I still want to kill him. I just wanted that experience points. No treasure. Everything to do with Barrett turns into a mess. I'm telling you. Get out of here. You've cost us enough. Yeah? So there's three of them here. How do you like that? How do you like that? How do you like that? Ooh, ooh. Oh, what's that? Are those pirates coming to help them? Those are the pirates coming to help them. Yep, there they come. Here they come. One. And my ship is there. Alright, it's fine. I can... I can kill them all, it's fine. It's not a problem. Damage registered. Damaged, really, Vasco? Hey. Where are you going, man? The fun has only begun. Whoa! It's good to have a boost back. Where? Oh, what's going on? Corrosive gas? What? Oh, that's broken. Oh, we ain't done yet. Oh, wait, we ain't done yet. Oh, Vasco, you're hiding here. Good boy. There's some intelligence in you, I say. Peace is not a solution. It never was, never will be. Oh, just die already. Die. Oh, God, I'm dying. Run, run. Cornered solstice? Let's try that. I feel pain, but I hear it is terrible. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Last but don't run. Damaged. That's it. I need a better position. Whoa! They're all around us. There's like hundreds of them. He's burning, man. Oh, 
Finally, Brogan is dead. Okay, this solstice weapon, whatever it is, it's useless. I mean, these are these are all like low-level weapons, anyways. There's four pirates here somewhere. Oh, there they are. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One down, three to go. Where are they? Where is Vasco? I think he went down. The madman went down. Okay, I'm going down. Whatever. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I'm blind! I'm blind! And you're dead now. So it doesn't matter anymore. Okay, one, one left. Where is he? Is that Vasco there? Is that Vasco? Oh my god, he's 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 done. Vasco is done. He can't die because he's essential, right? But uh Just give up. All right. <laughs> It's all right, Vasco. You tried. You tried. That was crazy. Oh my god. Oh, I can see his eyes. All right. We are done. The sun is going down, so... Oh. Oh. Got a whole bunch of stuff here. On just in time. Alright guys, this is it. Now we are going to New Atlantis. This is where we stopped previously. I kind of, I think I arrived at the lodge. And that's where I stopped recording. So... Let's say farewell to this research base. We must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then Alpha land Centauri in the city system. Of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Actually, we can just go like this. Alpha Centauri is the closest star system to us, right? In real life. Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Yep. We have a whole planet. They have a North Pole. And everything. It's a giant continent here. So we go to New Atlantis. Planet Jamieson. I think it's named after some real life astronaut. Jamieson. Oh, look at the beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in New Atlantis. Okay. Now we can finally walk around without a helmet. And uh, actually, I'm gonna probably take off my my pirate spacesuit. I don't want to freak people out. Although probably no one's gonna react. Let's wear something. Oh, look at this. I picked up. I just picked up all these different outfits. Hazmat suit. It kind of looks cool. Oh, urban efficiency. Oh, I like this. Yeah. 
let's show off those muscles. So previously, uh, when I played my laptop, I really didn't have a chance to explore New Atlantis as much. So now let's do that. So these guys are technicians. They're gonna check my ship and make sure everything works and all of that. Your memory is uncanny. And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Oh, that's right. I forgot. So here we can uh, repair our ship. We can buy and or modify our ship. And all those kind of things. It's fine. We're not going to do that now. Here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. I'm going to go here. If you require help carrying any items, I will assist. Thanks. I don't know what's this actually, Astra. But anyways. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. <laughs> I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to MAST ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll oh, the Varun Zealots attack some your experience. Uh, research and lab. Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. So these guys had By to run accounts, away. You're the only reason anyone evacuate. Out of alive. Well, just glad I still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool. Is it true that the train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Or that citizens get special discounts? Or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last year. I kinda smell. But I don't smell anything. Um, no, yes. No, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state of the art. Ugh, Aquila City? Now, oh, don't even get me started on those symptoms. A little unfair, don't you think? Three Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted, no questions asked. Even help with some repairs so I could do an emergency jump home. Good people. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. I'm really rather busy. <laughs> so I would like to know what happened here. Not now. Helena Chambers. Hello. <sighs> Guess you caught some of that, huh? The galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet, everyone trying to grab their piece. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just float through the stars and dream. Spacers? Really? <laughs> you must have been hiding under a moon rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge those assholes. <laughs> Mind the language. They're basically a bunch of space scumbags. Fly around, attack, and rob anyone they see. They're pretty disorganized and easy to fend off until they aren't. They're a different beast than the Crimson Fleet. Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Spacers, though, they tend to shoot first and ask questions never. All right. House of Arun, who's that? Not what, who? How to describe House Varun? Well, imagine a, a bunch of colonists who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re-emerged as a sort of religious society. Interesting. Faction, or 
cult, whatever you want to call them. They believe in some sort of celestial deity called the Great Serpent. Uh, real nightmare fuel kind of stuff. About a hundred years back, they picked a fight with pretty much everyone in the settled systems. I guess your school never covered the Serpent's Crusade, huh? We eventually made peace, sort of. Then they just disappeared. They're out there somewhere, or so folks assume. The ones that attacked us, they were the hardliners, for sure. You meet those guys, you run. You understand me? So you run into the Crimson Fleet too, huh? Yep, that I have. Had to dump a load of cargo just last year. Microscopes, can you believe that? <laughs> Guess you can sell anything these days. Pirates are a tricky lot. In space, they're all about the hit and run. They jump in, steal your stuff, and get out of there fast. Keep your cool, and you can generally talk your way out of it. So long as you're not too attached to your valuables. Stumble upon them planet side, though, and their trigger fingers get much itchier. All right. Well, now, <laughs> you don't know how glad I am to hear you say that. I'm right here with you, my friend. How can you not look up to the cosmos and just be overwhelmed by its beauty? So much possibility, so much hope, even despite recent events. So who are you, finally? We finally get to the question, who are you? Ricardo Bosch. I was the lead researcher on the station that got attacked. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting their scripture or whatever it was. Even the Marines were overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. We all are. Now, I just want to get back to work. Where is that woman? All right, they never told us where was Goodbye. the attack. What? No, just ugh, go away. Dude, what's her problem, huh? What's her problem? Look at her. Helena Chambers. She's nervous. May I help you? Where are your parents, Bobby? Does that I've never been in a before. Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're running. At first, I thought it was ecliptic mercenaries shooting at us, but it wasn't. It was these other people yelling about serpents and stuff. <laughs> serpents? Yeah, it was like, snakes and serpents will eat you all, Rah, the stars will squeeze you, Rah, or something like that. I think they need psychiatric help. That... Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna say you've got to be the bravest kid I've ever met. Probably. I'm pretty brave. A kid tried to bully me once, and I punched him in the head. Don't take shit from anybody, my mother says. Language. And I don't. Anyway, I'm fine now. I hope my parents don't take too long getting here. So he actually lost parents, but he doesn't accept that yet. You May see I security. You? That your ship that landed not too long ago? It sure is something. It is? It's really nothing. Hey. All right, Bobby Cats. Ricardo Bosch and Helena Chambers, see you later. May I help you? See you guys later. I was about to ask you where was the attack, so maybe I can go there and clear it up, but uh, I guess not. Wouldn't want to live anywhere else. No? It's pretty nice here, I have to say. Grown. Have a good one. Thank you. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere? It's because they have little outposts everywhere. There were so many facilities abandoned after the colony war, the pirates oh. used them as forward operating bases all over the settled systems. So yeah, it was the colony war. That's the name, colony war. And now because of the colony war, there's a bunch of like abandoned stations all across the galaxy. And most of them are probably overrun by pirates, spacers. Where am I looking at? Okay, no bounty. You're clear. Enjoy your visit. 
Of course I don't have bounty. What are you talking about? Who's this? Have a good one. There's a lot of people around here. Sorry, can't talk. Pardon? Love your hair. Hey. Why are you drinking there? Oh, uh, hello. How's it going? Hey. The viewport. Um. You okay? Hello there. All right. You know what? Let's go to the lodge first. I think I'm gonna need some different outfits. Wow, there's so many people here. What the heck? These hats look very silly. Gotta run soon. I'm late to a meeting. Hello there. Alright, yeah. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Captain, Constellation will be waiting for you at the lodge. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, look at this. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I... A uh, universe of leisure. No. Probably not. Oh, those are aliens. Looks like a giant space elk. Alright. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Oh, so... It's all powered by water, right? So that's why it's called New Atlantis. I guess. The United Colonies Vanguard program recently celebrated its 15 year anniversary. Dozens of Vanguard pilots who are now full UC citizens attended the ceremony and listened to a speech from President Abey. The remarkable success of the Vanguard, the President said, is standing right before us. I think we can join the Vanguard. I heard it's a good quest line. Definitely gonna do that. Look at the size of this tree though. Oh. Damn. Oh, my health is still low. It's fine. The lodge is this way. There it is. So they're kind of like uh, in the back. Vasco, you're falling behind. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Hmm. All right, let me let me quickly change my outfit. Captain, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. I think they're arguing there. You two keep going on like this, and I'm banning wages. I'm serious. We'll play nice. Just a little friendly conversation, Sarah. That's all. Walter Stroud. All right, let's talk to Sarah. We appear to have a visitor. Okay. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Really? Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? 
Well, pirates attacked and Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. Where is she looking at? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Oh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. Hmm. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. <laughs> now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? That's a peculiar question, like she knows. So... It was bright lights and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, God. Expect us to believe in fairy. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move. There have two pieces. Contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have. Yeah, the two. The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Uh-huh. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's so it. So previously they didn't to... react like this. But now when together. they add three, that energy they start floating. Them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy that... girl. You'll have a heart attack. you have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. A set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers... So they're all members of Constellation. Now, would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend? Everyone's looking at me now. <laughs> So, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? I guess. Do I have a choice? I mean... Um, how much do you know about the artifact? What are they? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building... Well... You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Um, you want me in a constellation, so what does it mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Uh, all right, I'm in. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned right. something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? The boost capability? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. All right, level three. 8,000 credits. Lodge key. Oh my god. And constellation pack. We got a whole bunch of stuff here. Let me take a look. All right, I'm going to use a uh, constellation pack. So it looks like Sarah will be our companion. What's this? Yes. <coughs> constellation guide. Permanently reduces fall damage by 5%. Alright. Those like a little like a skill magazines. It's a nice little garden. Let me see. We have activities. Talk to Noel about the quarters. Talk to Sergeant Yumi. 
this is like a small uh, quest and talk to Sara for the main quest um, let's talk to Noel about the quarters this is Noel I hope Barrett makes it back to us I know he gets into trouble all the time and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine but still oh yeah where's Barrett that was intense wasn't it the artifacts I mean Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Yep, no problem. Uh, Sarah said something about a place for me to stay. Planning on sticking around then? Good! I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Nice. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Apparently, Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. My Gardens are out the doors said, there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. All right. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I am at your service, Captain. Is this Gagarin? Okay. Is she gonna show us our room? Sarah gonna wait there for a while? Until we get ready? Oh, this is a bar. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. Yep, thank you. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Oh, this is some, some kind of like a Jamieson native bird. I mean, this place looks nice. It looks very old earth, like, uh... Okay, this'll be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet. And Mateo on the other side, so... Maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so... I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Don't want to keep her waiting. So I think Sarah is the CEO, or whatever. The boss of uh, Constellation, right? So this is my room, actually. Oh, nice bed. Let's see, what do we have here? Moby Dick. Chandra Chardonnay. Storage, all right. So I think this is like the unlimited storage. I have 17,000 credits. Let's have some rest here actually and recover our health. All right, let's talk to Sarah. But again, I have to say, I really like the Constellation headquarter. It's a... Uh, it's very different from the rest of the New Atlantis, that's for sure. Like entire New Atlantis seems to be very like a futuristic very bright and I this place is more rustic it's more old you. like i said it's more like reminiscent of old earth artifacts won't find themselves and us going after them means fuel repair costs the occasional payoff sometimes i think you only keep me around because i pay for everything you don't fool me for a moment walter you love it and you know it yeah all right, that was a conversation. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Yeah, I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. 
I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Well, um... UC Vanguard? A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. Oh, we're gonna join them. They're always looking for recruits. Yep. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Okay. So, other people have artifacts? We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. Oh, really? But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. Mm. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Right, makes sense. Let's go. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an... Electricity in the Electricity air. Electricity you know in the you're air. About to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Got it. You and me until we get that artifact. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? She's kind of a little bit... Good. Let's uh, take a little stroll through New Atlantis, I want to say bossy. Oh, look to the stable. So, Noel. Constellation living up to your expectations. Yes, ma'am, of course. I honestly can't imagine being anywhere else. Just making sure. Right, young Norm girl. Like alpha you, speed. There are no shortage of opportunities. Okay. Maybe not every single day of the dream. Oh, this is the but the work we're involved uh, what's the name? discoveries we're making. It's this is like a space ship or whatever that was shown in the trailer, in the very first teaser actually, right? I wish that bartender at the viewpoint would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. Okay. So we're heading to that direction. I love these colors, the blue, orange, and white, and gray. You know, it looks grand, right? Looks really big. But at the same time, it looks also like this was uh, built really fast. Like, this is not architectural, like, let's say, in ancient times or in medieval times when they built cathedrals. Like, they'll build those things for, like, decades. Like, this looks like they're been, it's been built in, like, within months. I mean... They probably had to, right? Because when they settled this planet, they had to build fast. So yeah, it looks big and everything, but it looks also uh, like a montage, like a... It's very fast to, to assemble. Oh, that's the, like a ambulance or a hospital. We're going this way. Getting dark. And citizens of the United Colonies, to the best of your ability, oh, these are the Vanguard and to uphold the values of the Vanguard, honor, loyalty, self reliance in all your actions as members of the United Colonies Navy. I, I do. do. Then I'm proud to welcome you to the Vanguard. Now, you all have your assignments. Get out there and show them what the UC is made of. Supra et ultra. We're getting closer. 
Oh, this is the UC headquarter. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. All right. The Vanguard. Sarah, good to see you. Hmm? Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Hopefully. I thought I'd run through some legwork together. Oh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with a Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Uh, maybe later we have Constellation business to discuss first. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Alright. Who's this Moera? Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. Wait, what's wrong with the Sol system? You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. That's our system, Sol solar system. So, alright, we'll talk to him. I'm sure we can make him a good offer. Sol system is a lot of planets. But a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. Mars. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. All right, thanks for the help. Anything for Sarah. You see, always takes care of itself. Anything own. for Sarah. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see, is a good friend to have. All right, we're gonna join later. Um, but first, I want to start the main quest. All right, Sarah, let's go. Let's see. Ask about Moera in Sidonia. So we're going to Mars. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. All right. Okay. All right. Let's get to our ship. I know I can fast travel there, but. Uh, Let's see. I want to explore the new Atlantis a little bit more. Although now it's like a night time, maybe it's not the best. Oh, what's this? Paul Mancuso. This is a memorial to those lost during the colony war. Your consideration is requested. All right, memorial. Let's see. I think I need to get to the subway. Are these the Vanguard? Oh yeah. Vanguard calls. <laughs> I like the Vanguard uniform. It's got orange, blue, something like that. I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the NAT. Ah, oh, she doesn't like the subway. Well, oh, someone is running. Oh, is this the adoring fan, right? Welcome, welcome. Well, you know. By Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera! I can't believe it! I can't is it you? believe it! Is it really, really you? Oh. Captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet, constellation's shining star of stars. Oh, it's me. Then the day is truly blessed. Because for a moment, 
I wasn't sure if you were real or just another hallucination. <laughs> but now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. <laughs> but I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. It's almost like it was meant to be. Uh, I'm gonna play along. I'm gonna say, yeah, this is clearly a destiny. I know, right? And you can try to fight destiny, but you probably aren't going to win. Although, if I'm being honest, I'd wager you could beat just about anything, even theoretical concepts. But why would you, in this case? Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do! Lead the way! Sign crew, I can reject, but no, I, I wanna... I wanna see, like, how he is. Um, welcome aboard. You won't be disappointed! Because I already have Sarah following me, so... Okay, yeah, I can sign him to Frontier to be on my ship crew. So he's good at scavenging, concealment, and weightlifting. I think weightlifting means he can carry a lot. It's crazy that he's called a Doring fan. Like same, uh, he doesn't have like a real name. Have a good one. What's everyone drinking? What's you that? You hear about that missing ship? They think it was pirates. Mhm. Mm what missing ship? I'm just saying, we don't know the side effects of grab jumping. Maybe they really did see a snake. Hey, if you want to join House Varun, no one's stopping you. I'm not saying the snake is real, just that day you saw it. So Varun claimed uh, seeing the snake when they grab jump? Mercantile. Samson. It takes a strong mind and a good eye to sell art. Hi there! Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Okay, I'd like to see what you have. Oh, please, take a look. Oh, they have weapons. Ace Sidearm, wow. I had to say, I really love the weapon design in this game. I don't want to carry too much stuff on me, so let's just get rid of all this stuff here. Thanks for coming in. And it's nighttime. This is the viewport. Inspired by the classic vodka screwdriver made with alien fruit. Uh, this is like a restaurant or a bar or something. Marika Boros. Hey there. You look like the planet hopping type. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? Hmm. Marika Boros. She's good with shotguns and ballistics and particle beam weapon systems. So she's good for combat. Uh, also, I guess these are like the... Uh, companions or followers that you can recruit. Plenty. I'm comfortable on a ship, especially in the gunner seat. I'm also a trained expert with shotguns. I have the certification to prove it. So I think if she's on a ship, she can actually improve ship's uh, combat. Or else, I don't know what does it mean. Like her ballistics, she has like a level 2 ballistics or something. That doesn't affect my skills. I think it only affects her. But if she has particle beam weapon systems, then it will affect our ship. I think, I don't know. Um, if you're willing to work, you're welcome aboard. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> I won't overcharge you. I'm grateful for the offer. I've been out of a job since I left the Freestar Rangers. 18,000 credits. 
You serious, bro? I can't afford to pay what you're asking. Will you work for less? You're short on credits? Yeah... Who knows how long it'll be before you get another offer. Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but... You do have a point. Well, the last thing I want is you going bankrupt on my account. I'll work for whatever you can pay. Oh, I feel bad now. 9,000 credits. Ooh. Wait, I just arrived here. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Wait. I like her, Mar Marika Boris, but wait. Oh. Well, I guess there's no accounting for taste, huh? If you change your mind, I'll be here. Like, I feel bad for uh, rejecting, but uh, I think she'll just stay here. She's not going anywhere. What's Sarah doing there? Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. What the hell are you doing at the bar? Simeon Bankowski. He picked a good day to drop by. Bartender's making him strong today. You in uh, town for business? Uh, these are all the mercenaries. Do I need a shower or something? <laughs> okay. Damage Hello. control specialist. Logan. Never Cullen. heard all day in the big city. Who are you? Good to see you. Anything you recommend doing in New Atlantis? There is a huge tree in the embassy district, across from the mass station. Trust me. It may sound dumb, but I think everyone should see it. At I think least I saw it already. In the city. It's so cool. It's oh, so maybe cool. maybe I just love trees. Do you like living here? Oh, sure. There's always tons of travel into New Atlantis, so there's no shortage of people to meet. I love talking with the new people and hearing about their journeys. Hmm. Not to mention, it's also nice and safe. Unlike my brother's job. Uh, what does your brother do? He's a marine. Oh. And if that wasn't bad enough, he's stationed in Sidonia. Oh, I'm just going he's there right now. He's telling me it's safe and how he loves his job. But I just worry about him so much. All I ever hear about Sidonia is how many people get hurt in accidents there. I just pray that he'll be okay. He'll be okay. I hope you're right. I just have such a hard time believing that, though. But... Oh my, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dump all of that onto you. It just feels good to get it all off my chest. Right. Have a good one. All right, Logan Cullen. All right, so viewport is where we can hire all kinds of people. What's Sarah doing there? Sarah, Our life is... is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Hi, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Who is this dude? Look at this guy. Wow. The hunter. That's a scary looking outfit though. Costume, whatever. Is this like a spacesuit? Are you for hire? It's an impressive suit, if a little intimidating. Scary? Nah, it just looks like you're trying too hard. Where do you get the suit anyway? <laughs> I guess you could say I've always had it. Once you've been all over, like I have, you might find yourself in something like this too. It's impressive. Uh, yeah, well, I, I go all over. A little psychological warfare up front tends to make things easier. Oh, his helmet is a little bit damaged. There's like a crack here. I love the design. It looks nice. Uh, I'm guessing you're a mercenary or a military. Retired, actually. From too many lives to count. But I've been all those things, yeah? And a few more. I spend a lot of time in the fringes these days. 
God help you if you come across something someone wants. You'd think it was things like civilizations and factions that cause people to want to shoot each other. No, even without that, it's still winner take all. Uh, that's bleak. Plenty of people are out there helping each other. There's a whole philosophy behind the sentence, isn't there? Well, you're on to me. Uh, we have a fellow philosopher here. I'm gonna say, plenty of people out there are helping each other. Of course. That's what makes the reality so tragic. Wait a second. I think I'm in danger of having a real conversation with someone for a change. <laughs> Better stop here. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Okay. Mysterious stranger. I'll see you around. I go all over the settled systems. Might run into you again. I have a feeling we will. Sarah, Sarah. What is she Anything doing? Anything I can do for you? Who are you? Like, what's her job here? At least she's a friendly face, you know. It's always welcome to see. Friendly face. Sarah, let's go. Gotta go to Mars. Is she working as a barista now? Look at her. She's tripping on something. Okay, Logan, you're coming with me. Can I get Logan? Have you been to Sidonia? My brother works there. I'm going there right now, actually. I'm just waiting for Sarah. Whatever, Sarah, whatever. Sidonia is an industrial town. The people there tend to be concise. Goodbye. Her, her face animations are something, man. They're something. I mean, it looks good, I have to say. Sarah, you have chairs. You can sit on a chair, okay? No need to sit on the table. As the hero of Vectera, you need your own comic book, your own cartoon, your own theme song. We have got to make this happen. <laughs> oh god, I'm stuck with these two in the spaceship. <laughs> All right. Actually, I can just fast travel to Mars. I don't have to do... Like, I don't have to go through these cutscenes. There's some kind of a storm going on here. Full quality air sandstorm. So even though I have a spacesuit, basically, uh, it doesn't really protect me. Oh, someone is landing. This is the type of science fiction that I like enjoy, or enjoy uh, more than the one that's like very clean, sterile, like a high, high fantasy. Like, let's say, Star Wars or Star Trek. Like, that's one of the reasons why I was never into science fiction as much. I was more into, like, a medieval fantasy, like Skyrim and Morrowind. You guys know what I mean. But, um... There is something charming about this kind of stuff. Like, it's, like, realistic, down-to-earth, gritty. Like, if you look at this thing, it looks... I mean, in, in a lack of a better words, it looks realistic, right? Like, this is something that looks possible eventually in some time. Um, let me go inside. This storm is like crazy. Who are you? 
So what's this going Building on? Sidonia I'm glad I finally caught up with you. Clever way of keeping the city I'm shielded from the, from the harsh Alliance. Martian landscape. We have a proposal for you. Trackers Alliance. Fine. Do it. I'm listening. Be Good. <laughs> because what I'm about to tell you. And I got lung the damage. Course of your life. The Trackers Alliance has been following your exploits and believe you have what it takes to join our ranks. Yeah. You're being invited to our new headquarters in Aquila City. All right. There you'll meet with Agent Number One. If you decide to consider our offer, they'll guide you through our initiation process. Thanks. I'll be there. Wonderful. I appreciate you hearing me out. I'll be heading out soon if there's nothing more. Remember, Trackers Alliance HQ in Aquila City. Speak to Agent Number One. Right. Uh, let's run away. I I I just got some lung damage. This is crazy. Going to have to lug cargo across half the universe to pay for this cleaning. I like this. Uh, oh, that's a UC Navy helmet. <sighs> Take care of your shit. Could end up costing you otherwise. Bro, let's go inside. <coughs> oh, I got disease. I got cough. Dude, I was dying out there. So, right here it's safe. You have an item that can cure an affliction you are currently suffering from. Yeah? I got uh, lung damage, right? So, let's see, what can we use? Oh, injector. Treats brain injury, concussion, heat stroke, hernia, hypothermia. Lung damage, poisoning, and radiation poisoning. Wow. It's very useful. Luckily, I have one. <laughs> nice. And I think I need to buy more injectors. <laughs> All right. The community center on P1 is a good place to connect with others. Or fulfill any spiritual needs you may have. Spiritual needs. Going to have some like cargo across half the universe. No work. This bleeding. Yeah, do you have any idea how far we've traveled? How much money we spent to hitch a ride to this dusty red rock? We were told there were jobs. Look, 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 I get it. But we just filled our last openings. I think we have a couple contracts ending at the end of next month. It's possible they may not extend it. This is bullshit. I got a wife and kids at home. We can't wait almost two months for a job that may not even exist then. Hey, hey, I get it. There's nothing I can do. It's out of my hands. You can take it up with corporate if you want. Sorry, but I have to get back to work. Come on, forget it. Let's get out of here. Maybe it's not too late to catch a ride back home. Tim Found a clutch of heat leeches, uh, spreading in the utility section the other day. Oh, you were counting on that I'm not going to be able to get that image out of my head for a while. Who is this? Well in. What can I do you for? Trackers Alliance agent. Hey darling. You look like the type who doesn't mind getting their hands dirty. Yep. The Trackers Alliance can always oh, it's the use same faction. hunters to handle wanted fugitives. If that feels like your speed, talk to me, check out our posts on mission boards, or head to the new HQ in Aquila City. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Bye. Hope I never have to kill you. What? I like the suit. So Trackers Alliance, they're they're like a faction of bounty hunters. And, uh, My buddy Mitch keeps asking me if I can help him out with something, but I just don't have the time. Oh my god, so many like a miscellaneous quests keep popping up. Uh, where are we going now? Let's see. What's this place? Broken Spear. Work in the deep mines. That's where you make the big books. Hey, we have a same same suit. Oh, this is a bar. Andromeda Kepler. Hello, traveler. Will you join me for a while? You strike me as someone with an interesting story. 
Call it Scholar's Intuition. Uh, she's a uh, follower. Outpost Engineering. Piloting an Unneutronic Fusion. Some other time, then. Yeah. Andromeda Kepler. I've warmed up to Mars since I came here. Many people think psychology is only good for treating past emotional trauma, but it's a great way to prevent it in the first place. I haven't had a day off in three years, and I wrote the damn time off <laughs> policy. Wait, I want to hear her voice. They are Star Yards may be the first major ship manufacturer, but that doesn't mean we haven't kept up with the times. If you notice any of the miners exhibiting worrisome behavior, feel free to let me know about it. Another long day. That's a very interesting voice acting. Any Worker satisfaction has been trending upwards up recently. The Taking their psychological concerns Sorry. into account has played a part in that game at the next meeting. But I doubt anything's going to happen. You're not saying you can't handle the workload, are you? Oh, oh, of course not. Um, just everything would just operate a little more smoothly if I had someone to assist me. Mm. No other space is limited, but we'll see. I'll make a note of it. While I may technically see. work in HR, Tia's really the one to see for any work concerns. The voice actor I almost sounds like a regular person, home. not like a Air real voice actor. And I don't mean in a bad way. Work. I mean, some of these voices sound really like a regular common people. And I actually like it because it sounds like more real. Like, not everyone is over the top. Like for example, Skyrim and Oblivion. Especially Oblivion, like everyone is voice acting over the top. But here you see, you hear some people who sound, it's almost like a, it's not even a voice acting professional. It's almost like, almost like amateurish. They almost grab drummed right there. Oh, this is the pilot from earlier. This here is the most oh, no, it's a minor. work in the galaxy. We mine the resources that make spaceships possible. Hmm. Okay, we gotta talk to this guy. Jack. I'm looking for a vanguard named Moera. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. He ain't been around. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the Blackest Sea. Black Sea. Um, space isn't kind to the lost. He's in trouble or worse. Sounds about right. Yeah. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> oh. He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I've got problems. What do you say? Nope. Uh, let's try to pursue him. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You're gonna guilt trip me. What matters to you more, the money or Moara's life? Guess I should ask you the same question. You paying or what? We could be the only ones who could find him. Maybe. I have one more turn. Uh, I want you to imagine him out there alone. And here you are holding out for cash. I want him found. I do. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Yeah, not like Last this. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love. Just singing songs. I like that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Alright, we are going to Venus. Go to Venus. Very simple. Any to Venus? Getting the board to agree to opening up Bye. HR headcount for me? Sorry, Tia. I'll bring it up again at the next meeting. But I doubt anything's going to happen. You're not saying you can't handle the workload, are you? 
I definitely want to come back and explore Sidonia. Uh, Oh, we have an accident. It was 100 something hours. Now it's one hour. Uh oh, something happened. But before we go, I want to find... I want to quickly see if there's like an ambulance. I need to buy some uh, injectors. Because I used the last one. Give me your so... Look at this place. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. It's depressing. I think it's kind of cool, actually. Oh, this is the famous, uh, like, a face on Mars. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for ambulance. Love this place, to be honest. It's very... sure hope this hearing loss isn't permanent. Looks condominiums. Zoning yeah, I definitely want to explore all of this here, but they need to have some kind of ambulance here, right? Look at this. I don't think it's depressing at all. What a day, huh? Did you know Deimos makes the majority of the ships for the UC Navy? If you ask me, that's a hell of a lucrative contract. Like, one thing I noticed with Sarah the on the upper is level. that she's falling behind All very often. Down. Let me see. UC Exchange. Oh, there it is. The are in for the there you go. The Pardon. Howdy. Howdy there. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I keep telling myself. Next year, it's back to New Atlantis, out to the backwoods, and back to civilization. Ah, but they keep increasing me salary. All right. Let me guess. You're here because you were working a cutter, accidentally nipped your thumb off, and you need me to reattach it again? Nope. I just need some to buy some medicine. <sighs> Sorry. I tend to think the worst. Since the overwhelming majority of my patients come here to treat entirely preventable accidents. Heart Plus uh, has 20% health for two, plus 20% health and 200 damage resistance for two minutes. Pretty good. Immobilizer. Injector, there it is. Very useful. Very cheap also. It's change of scenery. All right, here we are. Hello, what do we have here? See that cluster of ships? Varun Zealots. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. So those three ships, th those are the Varun. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. So we need to get to the beacon without being attacked. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid Go Bell. Slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's Venus over there. Okay. Let's go slow. Let's power it down. Jesus, come on, man. So she said power down everything except engine. And then go slow. Oh my god, 5,000. We have 5,000 meters to cross. I believe this is our oh, first... Great. in Janan Verun's footsteps that he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence that he learned the truth of the shrouding the coming eternal embrace that you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow so here's the interesting thing that just came to my mind 
This is our first encounter with the Varun, I believe, in game. At least for me right now. And um, they were doing like some kind of like a ritual or ceremony, like a communion. Taking communion, I guess. And she was like reciting some hymn. And they were doing it right by Venus. I mean, on Venus. And uh, Sarah said she doesn't know exactly why. And because we asked her, why are they on the Venus? What they're doing on the Venus? And she's like, oh, I don't know. But I always had this impression, like ever, ever since I heard how they, they worship the Great Serpent. Like, uh, I don't mean to sound like very edgy or something, but it sounds very Luciferian. Because Great Serpent, like Satan, right? I'm not saying they're Satanists, but... Uh, even maybe sound a little bit agnostic or gnostic. Um, I don't know. I have to. I have to research their lore. Like, hopefully, we'll find out more about them in the game. But uh, I'm just saying, like, they were here by Venus in during communion, and Venus was like mythologically related to the, the fallen angel, right? The fallen star, Lucifer, and all these kind of things. So. Maybe that's why they are by the Venus doing this communion or the ritual. If they see me and shoot at me, I'll be done. I'll be done in a second because I don't have my shields on. I have nothing on. Maybe if I hide behind this asteroid. There it is. There it is. That's a satellite beacon, right? Alright, almost there. Almost there. I'm gonna get ready to run away. <laughs> come on, come on. Gotta go slow. Gotta go slow. Alright, I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna go to the next. <laughs> go to Nova Galactic Star Yard. Let's go. Run away. We're going to Luna. That's the moon. Okay, let's. <sighs> there it is. Nova Galactic Star Yard. Still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. Forget about finding the artifact. I want to walk on the moon. I'm not gonna say. Oh, oh, what happened to Earth anyways? Why did we leave it? It's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started, managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. That's crazy. Let's see if Vanguard Moira is in that star yard. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. All right. Most star stations and ships can be docked with allowing you to board them. You will need to select the ship and then fly close enough and dock. All right, yeah, we'll figure it out. Nova Galactic Star Yard. So this is supposed to be one of the, like, the earliest star yards. Uh, where's the Earth? If that's the moon. Okay, press R. There you go.
people say I need more hobbies. Writing about you, thinking about you, talking she looks about you. Annoyed That's by a Dory right fan. Right there. So, where to next? Oh wow. Where to next? We are literally just arrived here to investigate. This is where to go next. Two steps in and we're already looking at a corpse. Okay, it's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Hmm. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. Really? By the way... We still need to find any sign of Vanguard Moara. Keep your eyes open. Yep. I'd be happy to carry a few things for you. I've just got an idea. I'm gonna give her... The... Where is that? Throwables. Grenade. What's this? Galactic Nova cap. I like it. So all the spacers are dead. Who killed the spacers? I mean... Spacers arrived here to... Kind of like a... Whoa. Whoa, did she just jump over this table? Okay, let's go. No, the spacers, they're basically like the lowest scum. Like even lower than a uh, Crimson Fleet. So, no, not the fists. What the hell? What the hell? I'm gonna stick to a maelstrom for now. Whoa. There are lots of enemies here. I hear shooting. She has... She has a little toy gun, okay. Yeah, something is going on here, because... There are a bunch of dead spacers, so some... Someone else is here as well. And this is an old star yard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sarah, you're gonna react? No? They're shooting at us, Sarah. She looks sleepy. Are you sleepy? What's wrong with her face? Sarah, you hear the shooting? Ecliptic. Take him down. Show them, Sarah. Show them. Come on. Look at those moves. Special forces. Oh. There. Oh. <laughs> There. <laughs> Show them, Sarah. Show them how it's done. <laughs> oh. Wow. I gotta say, I love the combat in this game. Um. There. Oh. She's angry. No, I'm just watching the uh, the animations, the NPC animations. Actually, I want to see how companions, how smart they are. Oh, she got shit again. Oh, she's she's she keeps being shot. This is gonna end badly for you. Damn it. Yeah, damn it. Yeah. Don't leave any of that behind. Sarah, we are in trouble. We are in deep trouble. <laughs> Let me go around. What's this? Look at this. Dead spacers everywhere. Wait, that over there was not a spacer. That was like a... Oh, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got a presence for ya. 
Got a present for ya? What present? Oh, headshot. Mercenary. Ecliptic mercenary. What are they doing here? Scavenging a star yard is a bit low end. The hell, I'm invisible? Come on. I guess I haven't read the description. I'm in I'm invisible when I sneak. Here's your visual. Get down. Oh. I, I can't see anything. Okay, someone just died. There's still four of them on the left. But uh, Ecliptic. So we have Ecliptic. We have a new faction here. Alright. Plushy. Whole heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I was about to say, I really love the combat. I don't have much experience with playing uh, combat games like this, with, with guns and everything. So, I'm still learning, but it's pretty, pretty good. But what I was about to say, actually, it feels good because it's, there's like, a, you can feel the weight of your character when you move. Like, I played lots of Skyrim recently and everything, and uh, it feels different. Like. In Starfield, your character feels more heavy. Like, you can feel it better. I don't know how can I explain that? The movement and everything is... Alright, we got a bunch of stuff here. Bunch of stuff! Alright. Spacers. Spacers. Medical ward. You gotta remember, this is a sh star yard. I mean, star yard is basically a spaceship. I mean, or star station, how you call it. One day I got my own trident. Oh, here's your trident. Right in the eye. Oh, 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 oh. Who's shooting? Oh. Oh, nice. It feels good. It feels good. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. The crazy part is sometimes they're just like in the back. Like they're hiding or something. You don't even know they're there. Come on, Sarah. Show him how it's done. Show me what you got. She's being massacred. I think she needs a better weapon. Ooh, 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 I'm almost done. He has to learn how to throw grenades, I guess. Oh, are these bodies? Why is it so dark here suddenly? Where are where is she? Oh there. Look at this move. She looks angry. Oh! I'm sure they had something we can use. Oh, they do, they do. Okay, 
Where are we going, Sarah? Oh, key. We got ourselves a key. Yeah, this is like a medical ward. It looks like a hospital. Nice. Oh, we got the key. Rattler. I think I got some kind of new weapon. Whoa. Available now for Colony War Veterans. I wonder if you're gonna see in the game these kind of things. Like Cyber Arms. Place is huge. Nice. That's my strategy, I guess, for now. Going out. Good job, Sarah. Good job. You finally threw a grenade successfully. There is more of them here. That got their attention. Oh! <laughs> Anything valuable? Yeah. Oh my god, look at the number of them. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Retreat, 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 retreat. Luckily I have a bunch of med packs. Switching to a new target. Yeah, good for you. Good. Good, good, good. This guy's a level 12. Level 12. Throwing a grenade. Good job, good job. That was a good throw. That was a good throw, Sarah. Let's see. There's too many of them, man. Forever to take that guy down. Takes forever. Sending one. do we have here? Man. 
toxic gas. I released the toxic gas. Shotgun. We have a shotgun. Shotgun. Oh, look at this dude standing there. Oh, that's still the level 12 guy. He's refusing to die. Die, bro. Die. Okay, we got something now. Okay. I got this uh, even better ecliptic suit. Yeah. So I can throw this away. Vanguard Moera Slate. This is Vanguard Moera. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. He's always daring the spacers to come after him. It's actually much better off destroying one of their ships than fighting them. What the hell is going on? Okay, I think we got our next uh, radioactive solstice. So we have a next objective now. We gotta go to Neptune. So we went to Mars, Venus, and now it's Neptune. So it's like a tour around the solar system. Let me see. Radioactive solstice. All right, that's it. All right, so next is Neptune. Oh boy. It's like a whole tour around the soul system. All right, so we gotta find. See that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Okay. Where is he? Something's oh. wrong. The ship's it's hostile. Are powering up. Get ready. That thing is hostile. Shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond. It's not me. Works hijacked my ship. White lined a couple of them, but they might be down. Will they could use an assist? We blow that ship out of the stars, he's dead and our artifacts gone. We're going to have to board. Target the engines. Once they stall out, we'll Target have the chance. engines? So what should I do? Most hostile ships can be boarded once the ship engines are down. You must fly close to the ship before you allow to dock. Yep. That's it. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that vanguard. Oh, finally. We found our guy. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Throwing a grenade. Where is she? Look out. I can't see anything. Oh. 
Oh no. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> You're standing right in front of them, Sarah. I wouldn't throw a grenade in a ship. Oh my god. That's the last one. He's running away. I almost died. I almost died. Yeah, I got some kind of a spacesuit. I'm gonna check everything once I'm done here. I'm collecting again all this stuff so I can sell it. We need lots of money. I was about to say lots of gold. There's no gold here. <laughs> well, I suppose they're not going to need it anymore. Because just to hire these companions is so expensive. So we need a lots of money. All right. There he is. Well, I think we saved his life. He was about to be killed. Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Alright. Who were those people? Why they hijack your ship? Ecliptic mercs. They'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. Think enough of them finally got fed up and they pulled their money to hire professionals. Alright. What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories, too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Oh, there it is. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? It's better in our hands. Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's yep. the artifact. There it is. Artifact beta. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. All right, Moara, see ya. <clears throat> if you have any orders, I'm ready to receive them. Marching orders, fool orders, tall orders. Just let me get my stool. Alright. I think we have to undock. Yeah, that's a Neptune. Survey, okay. It's an ice giant. It's a beautiful color though. Alright, so we are going back. What's this here? Europa? There's a something on Europa. Industrial outpost. This is 
star station. What's this? Mars. Yeah. Oh no, we're going back all the way to New Atlantis. To the lodge. Moment. At a certain point, I really want to stop and. <laughs> we have it. I want to do side quests. Do the honors. Do the honors. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? Oh, so now they just no, keep floating. No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added. Then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Full member. It's an honor, I'm gonna say that. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Hmm. Maybe later, yeah. I have a few personal errands to run. Fair enough. But before you go, let me tell you about our other leads. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett? Oh, Barrett, I forgot about him. A courier him. from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Oh. Alright, who's Sam Cole? What can you tell me about Barrett? What's the eye? We're gonna talk about that later, next time. So long. We are level 5. I got 3 skill points. Holy cow. 3 skill points. Okay, I need to invest in something else now. I'm gonna start a persuasion, okay? Um, I don't know why. I love in my games to have characters who are, who are good at speechcraft. So, let's use a persuasion. What else we have here? Weightlifting, wellness. Hmm. Oh, piloting. I need to destroy five more, uh, two more ships for rank two. Okay. All right, we increased our ballistic weapon systems. We gotta make ourselves stronger. And um, medicine, med packs, and emergency kits restore ten percent additional health, ten percent faster. Basically, restoration, right? I have to have this. Yeah, it's funny how I, I do. I use the same skills like in Skyrim or Morrowind, like restoration, speechcraft, well, no weapons. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> we ranked up. We are level five. Awesome. I think I'm gonna stop here. So we have a lot of things to do next time. I believe we have to find Barrett. We have to talk to Vladimir somewhere on the some space station called the Eye, and we have an expedition with Sam Co. I, th I think that's the cowboy guy. So this is all part of the main quest. All right. We also have this like a uh, bounty hunter faction we can join, and plenty of like a uh, small miscellaneous quest lines here. Nice. Nice. But that's for next episode. All right. We're gonna stop here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I plan to play Starfield all the way to, and again, this is probably gonna take a, a while. It's a it looks like a huge game, to be honest. I mean, we barely scratched the surface. We barely started. So I'm looking forward to learn more about lore and uh, 
just explore. So we're gonna have lots of fun in the future. So stay tuned and I'll see you around.